How's it going guys? This is Najam. Welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to review the Rokid Air AR glasses. Now these are augmented reality glasses, not a virtual reality. The difference is that these project a screen in your real field of view. So you can see it right in front of you, but other people can't see it unless they look through the glass. Whereas virtual reality covers your whole vision with displays and then you can be in a different reality in that sense. Now I will talk about my experience using these glasses for gaming as well as watching videos and movies. But what I also want to talk about is whether these are good or not. And I'll actually start off with the specifications. So these are 85 grams, which is very, very light. The display on this is actually only 600 nits or approximately roundabouts there. Now it does say on the listing is 1800 nits, which is actually not true. Um, it does have an OLED display and it's also 1080p 60Hz, not 75Hz like it says in the listing. The field of view from this you get at approximately 120 inch display which is a decent size. This does have voice rec recognition and it also has gesture control via the phone so you can connect this with the phone and there's an application that you can use to make your phone into more like a touchpad or something and it works really well with that. It also has a IMU9 access sensor inside it so it's, it will be able to detect your motion uh, with your head now it doesn't do a really good job because these are one of the first uh, or a really old model which doesn't do a good job with uh, tracking the displays and everything in virtual reality now uh, i need to mention before i go any further i do not have the docking station that comes with this um, i mainly bought these to use as a monitor and uh, they've been working really really well and it does lack some features because i'm not using the docking station so i will not be able to comment on that if you look on the top over here you do have a myopia adjustment and this goes from zero to minus five so if you're nearsighted this can help with that and apparently it does have built-in microphones uh, with um, sorry with the noise reduction and stuff like that so you can use this for calls it does have spe speakers inside as well um, and i'll talk about that in just a moment price on this i actually bought this for 150 pounds so for what you're getting it's actually pretty cheap because a lot of the other glasses that you can see uh, or like this the augmented reality glasses they're about 300 pounds just for the glasses themselves so let's go ahead and take a look around the glasses you do have the adjustment bit over here which i can't recall the name of um, these are built out of plastic uh, and they are very very light because of that and you can see the lenses and you can also see the displays in there i can go ahead and plug that in and that will turn on and you can see the diopa adjustment over here and you can see it from the front you can see that the top 50 percent of these glasses is actually covered with complete black and then you can see the rest um, through and this allows your vision to actually have a display on top and then you can have you can see the reality from down here and the mixes as well because the projected display comes on these lenses and um, then from there you can see the display um, and you can also see that it has two holes over here these are the speakers if my camera focuses right there and these are pretty decent uh, but i won't say they're amazing in any way um, if you look on the back over here you can see it does have the type c video in and um, you also get the power from that so it doesn't have any batteries um, it's not a slim glass um, you know a pair of glasses uh, it's pretty thick and when you do put this on i need to mention it you look like a right idiot with these on um, so i don't know i can't imagine anybody wearing these and walking around because they do pop out protrude quite a bit from your face and it looks like you're basically wearing a crt monitor two of them right in front of your eyes so they do look a bit stupid now there is a button over here this is to adjust the brightness you can go about six levels of brightness and it does get very very dark as well and the other thing is if you hold this down it goes into 3d mode which means it turns into a uh, it uses both of displays as one input uh, rather than duplicating them so you can watch side by side 3d content um, the resolution on the pc will be 3840 by uh, 1080 and so basically it's a two 1080p screens joined together and so you get ultra 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 wide input and if you put a side by side video on um, these glasses will display the left side on the uh, left on the left screen and the right side on the right screen because the input is sliced in the middle between the two um, displays over here and that way you can get um, 3d 
video and it does look really really nice on here it's very immersive as well it is built out of plastic but the build quality is pretty nice so if you saw my unboxing video you know that it comes with this cable um, you have one side which goes into the glasses and the other side goes into whatever device you want to plug this into this will only work if you have display port or some sort of video signal and power going through to this device uh, from your phone or your laptop um, and this is how they basically work uh, so there's no battery you just plug this into your phone just like so and you can see my phone display on there and i can actually go to settings and you can see the settings i can press start samsung dex and that will start on the display you can see samsung dex and there is samsung dex is um it is a desktop and i can adjust the brightness make it darker so you can see this a bit better so that is how they work and you can see the projected image over there that looks really really cool so let's go over the specifications of this display so this is approximately 600 nits in on the maximum brightness from my experience now it's a 1080p 60 hertz display and it is an oled display so when you look at something really really dark it will look very very nice and also because of that the colors on this are really really nice as well the projection you get is approximately 120 inch uh, uh, display size so that is the equivalent and it is also known as 43 degrees field of view um, so that's how much of your field of view is going to cover now the wider the field of view sorry the wider the degrees the bigger the display will be but this is 120 inches now while i'm here let's go ahead and talk about the comfort and how easy it is to use now this is a very easy device you basically plug this in and it works it takes all the power from the usb type c and um, he also takes the video signal and also the audio from this and i believe if you're going to use the microphones and also the speaker system that will uh, come out as an input device on your laptop or whatever and also your um, output device as well for audio um, so it works really really well with that it's almost like a complete system just from this one cable now to make this work you will need a device that has display power and power out from your usb type c and in this day and age you do have specifications that certain devices do have a type c so i have a laptop which has two type c ports one of them does not have display port out um, so you will only get the power through it but this is not going to turn on while the other type c usb port is on the graphics card and that has power as well as a video signal going out and then from that i can actually get a whole video signal into this now as far as comfort goes these in my opinion are not very comfortable glasses because these are just really bulky and i do like to wear some headphones which have no issues with that and because i can actually put these on and put the headphones on they're not as comfortable as they could have been i think what they could have done is just slimmed this down gotten rid of the whole sound system in here because most people are just going to use this for a monitor like i am and then you know get bare headphones and just plug those um, in as well get the sound from the headphones that will be much much better in my opinion but yeah unfortunately this isn't really comfortable for long periods of time i don't mind the comfort because there is a bigger issue in my opinion and i'll get into that in just a moment now if you do get the docking station which costs about 150 pounds on its own because it's like a whole android device the docking station does have some features that are very very nice especially what i find appealing is virtual reality displays which means you can have a multiple monitor set up inside your head and that is very cool because that is very very appealing now it does also use the docking station as a tracking device so you can move your head around and it will de detect the space and then it will project the displays on there so almost like you're you know using a virtual monitor now if you use this without the docking station like i do you're not going to get any of those tracking features and i'm not sure if it works with the smartphone as well i haven't tried it because i mainly use this for gaming on my laptop and so i just plug this in and play some games and it works really well for that now the speakers on this device are actually okay uh, they're not amazing they do sound a bit boxy but they don't sound really tinny and they're pretty reasonable so if you want to use these speakers for a cinema experience instead of using headphones they're okay so they'll get you by
Now it does also have uh, noise cancelling microphones built into it so you can use this for video calls and stuff like that. I don't know why you would. I have not tried the microphones at all on this because I can't imagine anybody using these for video calls. So let's talk about what I like about this and what I don't like about this. So what I like about these augmented reality glasses is that these are pretty cheap. Uh, you get £150 for that, you're getting an OLED monitor running at 60Hz and it's really really good for gaming and it's also a really good size so 120 inches approximately the screen size is actually pretty nice and it's also an OLED display so that's very very cool the picture quality is very nice as well um, there are some fringings and some softness going on in the corners because these lenses are very very small um, but you know look at the size uh, compared to uh, virtual reality this is much much smaller and also the other thing I like is that these are very very lightweight and they don't weigh a lot so very very small package for a very big monitor in your bag if you're going to carry these around now there are some things i don't like about this so for starters these cost like 150 pounds that's fine but they don't come with any covers or anything now you can get covers to cover this and then change your experience because as it is uh, this will show you the reality uh, as well as the screen so you can see it projected in your real vision um but this is an OLED display and you don't get those perfect blacks unless you're looking at this in pitch black. Um, for that you, go, you can get uh, different covers. So that's one bad thing. You have to unscrew this, screw the other cover on and then you can use it. Now I didn't obviously bother with that mainly because the price on these covers is an abomination. It is £25 for just a piece of plastic you're going to put in front. And I'm not paying that much for a piece of plastic so I can put this on front of the glass especially because they should have come with that and they don't they're costing 25 pounds extra instead I got this 3d printed one which seems to do the job really really well and you don't have to you know you don't have to screw it in you can just put this on if you want a complete blackout um, and this does work really really well in fact it's been working almost perfectly now the lens quality on this uh, is a little bit poor as I mentioned and I will have to give this a negative because the corners of the display are a little bit soft and if you're gaming you have some information in the corners uh, it's going to come out a little bit soft and it's very annoying to read sometimes now there is one major drawback and that is without the docking station and I don't know if the docking station is a good investment in the first place but without the docking station this is a static display that means if you move your head around the display is going to move with it it's going to be stuck to your head and that can be nauseating it can make you feel dizzy because you're moving around and your brain expects the display to be stationary in the position but it moves with the head when you're gaming or something when you're in fast action you have to stay still otherwise you're gonna feel dizzy and you're gonna just lose con control and so that is one major negative i think if they could they would have probably made this a whole integrated system so you have virtual uh, displays using this oled panel in there um, to make the displays virtual and it should also be using the trucking without the need for accessories and anything um, i think that would have been much much better but um, they're keeping the size small and price pretty cheap now the newer versions do have much much improved technology but they do cost quite a lot of money as well now i will mention another thing this is not going to work for everybody because this does cause me and a lot of other people eye strain so while these are really really nice glasses you can use these for a lot of entertainment and everything they do cause some eye strain and for me as well i can't use them for a very long time so they can be uncomfortable to use um, so personally i've been using them on and off and have enjoyed it because the experience is pretty nice but i do find it's a lot more comfortable to use a monitor in real life and so while these are very very small for me they don't work and for a lot of people out there these are not going to work so i'm just pointing that out if these do work for you i recommend buying them from amazon and then just experiencing them and then you can return them because the return policy on amazon is pretty good and I will leave affiliate links in the description to Amazon, so make sure you check them out. If you do have any questions about these, ask me in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and um, I will see you guys in another video.